This is Ages DIY. I am working with the 2005 Ecker RSX. Uh, I've got a check engine light on. I'll tell you what the code is, but uh, my son took it by. It's his car, and uh, it apparently was the forward O2 sensor, which is common. Um, uh, commenting on that, uh, starting at the dealer, it's over $400. Uh, uh, AutoZone had it for like $229. I found it online on Amazon for $129 with free shipping. I think I've seen it cheaper. But the best way to do that, honestly, uh, I looked at it through Toyota forums because Denso makes a lot of parts for the Toy you know, Japanese parts. And uh, they make most electronic parts. And if you go into the Denso website and put your car in there, whatever vehicle you have, um, you, and look up and find the part number for your car and then look it up that way, you can usually find the cheaper options. But uh, I'm staying, I'm sticking with Denso because that's what came on it. Uh, I've just been told by others that whenever you're dealing with electronic stuff, you really want to stick with OEM the actual OEM and not OEM like. Anyway, so that's what I did and I found this part for 129 and I think that the upstream was 129 plus tax and then the uh, the downstream was like, I think it was 69 plus tax. So I'm in it for about just right at $200 a hair or more uh, for both of those. And that's the cheapest I saw it. Um, usually people that offer it for 90 are charging you $30 to ship it or something. So there are other options, but they're expensive. So what I'm, what I'm showing you today is uh, he had a Tacoma that I was able to clean the sensors on. I ordered some Denso replacements, and uh, he's still on those. He's almost 10,000 miles on the original sensors after cleaning them. So I'm going to show you here where they are, like other videos have shown you, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to clean them and see what we get with it. There's another option. Okay, hey, so here are your O2 sensors. Here's the expensive one here. They're both, mine are both on the cat. Well, I guess it's, yeah, they're both on it, but here's your, uh, or this right in front of it. Here's your upstream. There's your downstream. Uh, and you can just follow the plugs where they plug in and undo them. There's videos to show you how the clips work, but sometimes you get dirt behind the clip and there'll be a little button you have to depress to jiggle it out. Uh, but there they are. Uh, I'm going to hit them with some PB blaster. And I'm gonna, there's a special tool that fits around your wire here. Uh, you can get it from your, I'm going to borrow them from the auto parts store and, uh, and they come with a different kit, but that'll allow you to get in here with a socket and get this off. So I, ran, I uh, did the tool on this kit from uh, AutoZone had this. And I'll probably use one of these, whichever one you want to use. But this is what you'll use to uh, go over the uh, sensor in order to, to loosen it up. So you can see I got the O2 sensors undone. Those came off pretty easy, but these are a bear to get off here. And I'm seeing that's, an on, that's a problem online. So but there's a bolt, an 8 millimeter bolt right above these two connectors. And uh, I can't show you with one hand here, but if you go in above these, there's a bolt right over the top and get this, I'm going to drop this bracket down and then unplug them when the bracket's down. But that's what I'm having to do to get them on because I'm about to mess them up. So it's a problem. So I'm going to undo the bolt over. It's an eight, it's a 10 millimeter. Okay. So the one that, the one that unhooks from the bracket here, this one, that's going to be the front one. And the one, you know, um, the car plugs that stay hooked to the car, there's only one of them. Um, so the sensor you're trying to take off, the front sensor actually has to slide off of this, whereas the rear one, um, you can unplug it and the part of the car stays on. So that's what's confusing. You think both of the car ones would stay plugged onto this clip, but they don't. So, because the other one, the front one, you can see it's kind of hanging up in here. So that's where it's confusing, but they really are hard to get apart. It helps if you can take that 10 millimeter screw out, let this thing down, and you just got to kind of work with it, get some of the dirt out from under the clip. Get a screwdriver and just gently just keep wiggling back before it comes off. But it took me probably 30 minutes to get them both off. They were really stuck. So I've got the sensors kind of wire wheeled off. Now we'll go ahead and get them ready for the bath here. So I'm going to let these things soak overnight. I'm sure that's probably too long, but I'm going to let these soak for a little while. And tomorrow I'll pull them out. I'm going to spray them off with a little bit of a, like electronic spray so I can uh, have it dry cleanly. I'll stick them back in. So again, here are the plugs plugged back in. You got one, you got one up here, and you got one back there. And it's really hard to get your fingers in. So if you can go above that, pull that uh, 10 millimeter bolt off, and drop it down, you can have better access to those clips to get them loose. But it is a bear. Um, good luck. All right, we spent a little over 100 miles on the sensor. Still no check engine light, so uh, appears to have worked this time again. Uh, Best advice is be patient and uh, be really easy on those plugs. They're, they're hard to get off. Um, everybody's having issues with them. So uh, that's it. But it appears to have worked. So good luck.